What if your brain was sending you warnings through smell nobody else could notice? Not through memory loss, not confusion, just an odd, persistent smell only you detect, even when nothing is actually present? For thousands of individuals, this is exactly how it begins. Phantom odors are not simply odd. They are among the earliest signs that something deeper is happening in the brain, often long before anyone even considers dementia. In this video, you'll learn what to be alert for and why ignoring these strange smells might mean overlooking your only advance warning. Let's start with number one, smoke or something burning. Dorothy, age 74, started noticing cigarette smoke everywhere, even though no one around her smoked and there was never a fire. She scrubbed her home, switched out filters, even called the fire department, but the odor remained. It trailed her from place to place, day and night, until she started doubting her own senses. Two years later, she received an Alzheimer's diagnosis. Researchers discovered that phantom smoke scents are among the most frequently mentioned by people developing early cognitive issues. This happens because the olfactory cortex, the brain area handling smell, is usually one of the first parts affected in Alzheimer's. As nerve cells in this region start breaking down, the brain might begin generating a fake signal, such as the strong scent of burning, even when the air is actually clear. This is not imagination, it's your brain malfunctioning, sending warnings through the sense most people rarely question. Number two, rotten eggs or sulfur. That was three years before his Lewy body dementia was officially diagnosed. Henry, age 77, kept saying his house smelled like a gas leak, especially like sulfur or rotten eggs. He even got the gas company to check the lines, twice, but they found nothing at all. The smell would appear and vanish, usually stronger during the night. It followed him everywhere, impossible to ignore but unseen by everyone else. Clinical studies have connected phantom scents involving sulfur, rotten eggs, or gas odors to problems in the brain's limbic system, which handles emotion, memory, and sensory processing. These are not just bad smells, they're brain misfires. Signs that your ability to process sensory signals is starting to deteriorate. What feels like a physical or environmental problem is often the brain creating something that isn't there. And this usually goes unnoticed as a sign of dementia until it's too late. If you're finding this video helpful, type one. If not, type zero. This will help us make our future videos even better. Number three garbage or dead animal. Melinda, age 70, began to smell what she described as rotting meat in her kitchen, her car, and even on her clothes. Her family could not smell it. Nobody could ever find a cause. At first, they suspected depression, but four years later, she was diagnosed with early onset dementia. Recent research suggests that phantom odors of decay, like garbage, dead animals, or rotting meat, are closely related to olfactory hallucinations in people at risk for frontotemporal dementia. These smells can activate brain areas tied to survival instincts, which can become confused as degeneration sets in. The brain misfires, signaling danger when there is none. Unlike real smells, these can last for hours or even days, leaving people unsettled, confused, and sometimes too embarrassed to talk about it. That silence slows down diagnosis, while the harm continues quietly. Number four, chemical or cleaning product smells. Three years before his Alzheimer's diagnosis, Carlos, age 75, was convinced he could smell bleach or ammonia, especially in public spaces such as buses or waiting areas. His wife thought it was temporary, but the problem got worse. He eventually avoided certain rooms, claiming they were filled with chemicals. He even began steering clear of medical offices and restaurants, insisting the scent was stronger in crowded areas. A medical review revealed that phantom chemical odors, like strong cleaning solutions, paint, or gas fumes, are often reported in the first stages of cognitive decline. This may be due to increased activity in damaged olfactory nerve cells or faulty connections between the brain's sensory and emotional pathways. What makes these smells so troubling is that they can trigger panic or nausea, even though nothing is really there and no one else notices them. Number five, burnt rubber or melted plastic. Teresa, age 78, mentioned to her son that she kept noticing burning rubber in her kitchen and worried her toaster was faulty. But every time he checked, there was no problem. The toaster was even unplugged. 
They replaced it, but the scent stayed, coming at random times and getting stronger in the evening. Two and a half years later, she was diagnosed with Lewy body dementia. A large study found that phantom industrial odors, such as burning rubber, plastic, or electrical fires, frequently show up in people developing dementia with unusual protein buildup, especially alpha-synuclein, which disrupts normal brain signaling. These scents tend to be sharp, strange, and unsettling, which is why they often show up before other symptoms. Sadly, they're also often dismissed as stress, paranoia, or just sensitivity to the environment, until the real reason can no longer be ignored. Number 6. Raw Sewage or Wastewater Two years before her dementia was officially diagnosed, Eleanor, 76, became certain her pipes were failing. She noticed a smell similar to sewage or toilet water, especially around the sink or even in bed. Her son brought in a plumber, twice, but no problem was found. The odor invaded her sense of reality and left her feeling more alone. Studies suggest that phantom scents like sewage, waste, or rot are connected to breakdowns in the brain's ability to detect and filter odors. This becomes most obvious when areas managing emotional interpretation start to weaken. The smell isn't just unpleasant, it's deeply disturbing and often linked to a growing gap between what the senses pick up and what the brain understands. It's frequently misattributed to bad hygiene, anxiety, or sometimes even hallucinations. In truth, these phantom odors are a neurological warning sign, especially when they return repeatedly for no clear reason. If you've made it this far, you're serious about improving your health. To show you're following along and ready for more tips, type 1 in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Your support helps us reach more people, people looking for simple, effective health solutions. Number 7. Blood or Rusty Metal Vincent, 72, began saying his meals smelled like blood or tasted metallic. He eventually quit eating meat, convinced something was not right. He described the odor as metallic, like coins or a nosebleed, particularly near sinks and cutlery. After several cognitive tests, he was found to have early-stage Alzheimer's. A major study found that phantom metallic smells, including blood, rust, or iron, are strongly tied to issues in the brain's memory networks, especially the hippocampus and neighboring olfactory regions. What makes this symptom more concerning is that it often appears alongside early taste changes, causing appetite loss, food aversion, and nutritional decline. When this sort of smell keeps coming back, it's not just odd. It's a possible warning sign of neurodegeneration quietly progressing before anyone notices it. Number 8. Unidentifiable Off Odors Two years before her Alzheimer's diagnosis, Patricia, 79, struggled to describe what she was smelling. She only knew something was off. She'd mention it again and again, but could never find the right words. Studies show that people in the first stages of dementia often talk about a vague, strange odor they can't name, sometimes called an olfactory distortion. This is usually due to early deterioration in the olfactory cortex and limbic system, where the brain connects sense to emotions and meaning. When these areas weaken, the brain senses something wrong, but can't say exactly what. The result is a mysterious, unclear smell that lingers without a clear source or name. It's disturbing, constant, and impossible to forget once it appears. Number 9. Phantom Perfume or Sweet Floral Scents Lucille, 80, began detecting perfume in empty spaces, a smell she described as shifting. Sometimes it was like roses, other times like talcum powder or something old-fashioned. Her doctor at first believed it was a sentimental memory tied to grief or aging. But within two years, Lucille struggled to recognize faces and locations and was later diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia. Recent research suggests that phantom floral odors, especially perfume or soapy smells, are linked to damage in the temporal lobes, which are involved in mixing smell with memory and emotion. What makes the scent so unsettling is that it feels personal, like the smell of someone you once knew but can't quite remember. Often, these hallucinations spark confusion, nostalgia, or even fear. 
and they're frequently missed until other symptoms become clear. People often believe they're just imagining things, but in reality, what they're picking up is the first sign of something bigger changing inside their mind. These odors didn't come from the air. They started with the brain already being affected. The sooner you spot it, the more time you have to respond. Because once memory begins to fade, the chance starts to disappear. And by then, it's more than just a smell. It's the echo of time running out. If you haven't already, pause and subscribe for practical, science-backed brain health tips. Turn on notifications so you're the first to know when we share new ways to spot the earliest signs of dementia and keep your mind sharp. What did you find most surprising or helpful in this video? Share your thoughts, questions, or personal experiences in the comments below. We truly love hearing from you. And if you found this helpful, please share it with your loved ones, because caring for each other's health starts with sharing knowledge. Your feedback inspires us to keep creating helpful health tips for you and those you care about.